We continue to get closer to the total solar eclipse. We even showed you some ways to view it. We can't express eye safety enough. From solar eclipse glasses to pinhole viewers to just looking through a strainer, there are plenty of ways to safely see this event. There are other things you should look for during the eclipse on April 8th as well. What else could you look for? Really weird shadows. During the eclipse, sunlight passing through things like leaves will start to look a lot different. They start to look like a bunch of eclipses or even squiggly shadows. That looks like what would happen with the pinhole viewer or the strainer. That's exactly what's happening. Tree leaves act like a pinhole viewer, projecting the eclipse onto the ground or other surfaces. Since there are more holes and the leaves are moving, it makes for an interesting pattern. As the sun's direct light is focused into the pinhole and the ambient light is blocked, it takes on the shape of the light source, which is round. You can even see the clouds that are in the way of the sun being projected into the viewer as they are blocking some of the sun's light. Since the sun is blocked by the moon during the eclipse, the light source becomes eclipse-shaped. You can see this in action with these two lights. They make a cross shape. Without the light being focused through a small hole, these lights just light up the poster board. When the light is focused through the hole, you can see cross shapes appear. That cross shape happens no matter the shape of the hole that the light is passing through. This also happens with other shaped light sources like this square light. The light passing through the hole becomes square since the light source is square. Since the sun is usually not blocked, the sun's projection is usually circular since the sun is round. Did you use lightsabers for that? I am your father. I know. Another interesting thing is that the image of the sun you're seeing projected during the eclipse is actually upside down. According to the University of Colorado, the image of the sun is projected onto the surface behind the small hole as light rays from the top of the eclipse are relayed to the bottom of the image and light from the bottom of the eclipse creates the top of the image. They say the sun is vertically symmetrical, however, so this effect is not noticeable. Hopefully the eclipse is noticeable. I know, right? Reporting from home. I'm Elizabeth Petlin. And I'm meteorologist Ray Petlin.